Welcome to IUIC Contradict This. Today, we're going to be going over incest. Uh, let's start with De Deuteronomy 27, verse 22. Is there a contradiction in the Bible? The answer is a big absolute no. Uh, the contradiction is in the minds of our people and in the minds of those people who taught our people, mainly the so-called white man. So they're saying that incest is, uh, there's a contradiction in the Bible mm. because there's incest in the Bible. Mm. Let's see. Deuteronomy 27, verse 22. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27 and verse 22. Cursed be he that lieth with his sister, mm -hmm. the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother, mm -hmm. and all the people shall say amen. Mm. Now get me Leviticus 20, verse 17. So we read that clearly. Cursed be he that lieth with his sister, the daughter of his father or the daughter of his mother. Leviticus 20, verse 17. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing. It is a wicked thing. So you have two laws here. That was written by who? Moses. Now, let's go to Genesis 20, verse 12. Genesis is the beginning, way before Moses. So this is where the atheists and many of these uh, Edomites will say there's a contradiction in the Bible. And now our people are starting to believe in that. Right. Let's get Genesis chapter 20 and verse 12. The book of Genesis chapter 20 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And yet indeed, she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father but not the daughter of my mother. So here you have Abraham saying, yes, indeed, she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. Notice what we read in Deuteronomy and Leviticus, the laws were written 400 years after Abraham. 400 years after Abraham, okay, was the law expounded on. But watch this. Get me Genesis chapter 14. I want Genesis chapter 14, verse 12, because sometimes we'll hear the word um, sister or brother or son, mm -hmm. and you'll get confused. Why? Because you don't have the understanding, the right. proper understanding on how things are written in the Bible. First, get me Genesis chapter 14 and verse 12. Then we're going to jump to 16. The book of Genesis chapter 14 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, mm -hmm. who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods and departed. Mm -hmm. So who was Lot? Abram's brother's son. So Lot was Abram. His name was changed to Abraham later on. Abram's brother's son. So um, Abraham was Lot's uncle. Mm -hmm. Lot was his nephew. Jump down to verse 16. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. And he brought back all the goods and also brought again his brother Lot. Read that again. And he brought back all the goods uh -huh. and also brought again his brother Lot. Jump back to verse 12. Verse 12. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son. So in verse 12, they, they say that's Abram's brother's son, which he is. Jump down to verse 16 again. And he brought back all the goods mm -hmm. and also brought again his brother Lot. So many times when you read the word brother or sister is talking about those from your tribe. And also, it's a term of endearment. Those from your tribe and a term of endearment. Read verse 16 one more time. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. And he brought back all the goods and also brought again his brother Lot. So right here, it calls Lot his brother. It calls Lot his brother. Why? Because Lot was a Hebrew as well. Lot was a Hebrew as well. Now, when you get Matthew 21, 15, let's go to the New Testament. Matthew 21, verse 15. The book of Matthew, mm -hmm. chapter 21 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, mm -hmm. and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. To the son of David. Now, was Christ literally the son of David? No. Christ existed many years after King David. So why did they call him the son of David? Because it was from the same tribe. He was a descendant out of the same tribe of King David. All right? So that's the true understanding of that. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. 
IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.